attempt fucking number three at getting this goddamn thing to record correctly. <laughs> I can't even... I'm, I'm just gonna let this play and uh, hope for the best. Good God! Okay, hi guys. I'm not dead. Um, I've done this this intro uh, whatever segment fucking three times now. This is the third time. I get real tired of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have moved to another computer. God, it feels so weird saying all this shit again. I've moved to another computer. Um, the whirring should not be there. I remember that was one of the big problems with the first segment was the constant fucking whirring of my laptop. Um, I've moved over to a slightly shittier desktop, which is what I'm on, and um, just a little bit of uh, goofiness with the recording, like I, I did a whole recording in 720p. Um, couple minutes ago, but as it turns out, it made this whole thing stutter to shit, so that didn't work. Like, I thought it wasn't so bad, but then I went back and watched the recording, and it was horrible, so we're not doing that. Um, thankfully, I made, oh, excuse me, that was disgusting, I made the wonderful decision to save over the epilogue that I had, instead of saving over my, our, our, our chapter one here. Thank God, because that recording came out awful. Basically, what I've been doing the past couple of days, aside from getting all the all the all the shit worked out in the hardware issues, etc., I also went ahead and tried to record chapter one on the laptop using the noise gate, and uh, that didn't work. You know, like the whirring was so loud that it just it just killed the entire recording. So instead of that, I moved over to this computer. I'm just gonna let this stuff play without commentary and uh, see how you guys like it. If, if things get a little too silent, let me know in the comments. Please, please let me know. I have no idea if you guys don't tell me, so please tell me. Anyway, here we go. do a little uh, map sequence before most chapters just to, I guess, introduce the chapter, and then they do this, which is pretty cool, so. And then they get right down into it with the uh, character interactions, which is what we're about to see right now! I swear I've memorized this shit by now. <laughs> it's like a script. Thank you. 
Ooh, knights! Oh boy! No, there's not. Shut up, Lynn. I've already said this, like, 15 fucking times. Um, this chapter... She's like, oh, there's more than I can handle. This is totally not true. I'm gonna completely blow that out of the water, and uh, you guys will see in just a moment what I'm talking about. Yes, you can. I will. I will see to it that you stand there and do nothing. Yes, I will command them. Sane and Kent. Sane is the green one, and Kent is the red one. They will follow my orders, and it will be. It will be good. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> Let's. Let me introduce these guys quick. Um, Sane, Kent. They are horse horse people. They ride horses. Their official name is Cavaliers. Um, they're they're kind of fast, as you can see. Uh, they move seven squares as opposed to Lin's uh, kind of measly five. Five is like the the standard for unpromoted units in this game. Bandits also move five. Lin moves five. Horsemen, horse guys move seven, and we'll see promoted units and other guys later on that move different numbers, but that's all for now. Um, Cavaliers are kind of beefy, you know, as you might expect, they're like the vanguard units, you know, they run in because they're super fast, they take a lot of hits, they do a lot of damage, and uh, on, the, on the, the downside is they're not really good at anything. Um, Sane here is a little bit of an exception. He's got 8 strength, you know, he hits like a fucking truck, but, uh, his buddy, his buddy Ken is kinda, kinda, what's the word, bog standard for Cavalier, you know, he's not really good at anything, he's got pretty shit stats all around, sorry, not shit, just, just mediocre, he's not particularly fun to play with right now. Um, he does get better later on, and he starts with pretty good equipment that we might make use of later, but for now, for now, we are going to totally ignore both of these guys completely, and, uh, and just use Lin, just to spite the game. Um, in normal mode, the game would have you move Kent and Sane to specific locations, and watch Sane get fucked up because he's an idiot, and all he has is a lance to fight axe guys, and as I mentioned last time, the weapon triangle works, um, axes beat lances, lances beat swords, and swords beat axes. Well, Lin here has a sword, and all of these guys have axes, so Sane gets fucked up, he ends up getting a sword and a vulnerary and all this other shit, completely out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I don't know, um, you know, the free stuff is okay, but I'd rather just do it my way, and I'm sure you guys would rather see that anyway. So, we're gonna put Lin in a forest here, and as usual, let the enemy open themselves up to a counterattack instead of doing the same for ourselves, and just, uh, hang out. Let's see what happens. Whoa, what's that, 16 hit on the enemy? <laughs> It's almost like this is a completely one-sided fight. It is. Uh, Lin is pretty much just going to mop the floor with all these dudes, because none of them can hit or worth a damn. You know, they, they, they do seven, you know, the MT there means might. That's, uh, they'll hit for seven if they do hit, but they won't hit, because they only have a 16% chance to hit. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how Fire Emblem goes a lot of the time. You have a unit like Lin, who is just extremely fast, or um, tanky, or something like that, who can just kill like tons and tons of dudes all by themselves, and wow, we actually got hit, that's odd. Whatever, it doesn't make a difference, we have a ton of vulneraries, so uh, 
this chapter is pretty, pretty much no danger at all. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I won't regret saying that. I'm just gonna heal up just in case, so I'm not fucking game overing on chapter one and uh, continue murdering bandits. Huh, thankfully, we took refuge in a forest, so on top of our normal speediness and weapon advantage, we're also getting the advantage from the forest, where we can dodge better and just take less damage overall from uh, from physical attacks. So we are pretty much set for this chapter. Just sit in a forest and wait for the enemies to kill themselves. Kind of boring, but hey, it's <laughs> it's supposed to be a tutorial mission, so I can't really blame them for setting up an easy mission early on. <sighs> um, yeah. Kinda, <laughs> kinda quiet. Anyway, um, I figure, I guess maybe now would be a good time to sort of introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I have, I, this was the first Fire Emblem game I ever played. I love it to death. This game, Sacred Stones, is pretty it's pretty good, but I much prefer Fire Emblem 7. Ah, Fire Emblem 7. It's definitely my favorite, just overall. It, it seems like a much deeper game. It seems like they really they really pulled out all the stops in terms of like support conversations and just all the all the side quests and shit that you can do. Oh, here we go. This is the victory music. Uh, it didn't play in the last chapter, because there were only two enemies on the last chapter, but when it gets down to one enemy left, or no enemies left, it'll play this victory music. Now, uh, we match up pretty good against this guy, but he's gonna kill us if he hits us, so let's just heal up and make sure he doesn't murder us. And, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for him to suicide. <laughs> Yeah, definitely the knight's fault. Now, last time I did this chapter, as I mentioned, I've done this about three times now. Um, last time I did this chapter, we had a little bit better luck with uh, leveling up. We had a strength point on our last level up, so we actually killed this guy in three hits. We're gonna take four hits to kill this guy, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna just make sure we don't fucking die. This is entirely possible. We're getting hit a lot, and we shouldn't be. Alright. I guess I didn't need to worry about it anyway. And down he goes. Easy. Well, there was a lone girl, and you still got wrecked, so... Sorry. Maybe we'll get a strength point. Come on, strength point! Come on! Yeah! Strength! Nice. Great. Yeah. This lane, uh, pretty good. Last time we had 7 strength at the end of this chapter. That was really high. That lane would have been would have been pretty pretty beefy, but this one's turning out okay too. There's still a lot of plenty of opportunity for her to get plenty of skills later on, so I'm not worried about it. Anyway, let's see what she has to say.
continue getting fat off of experience, probably. And that is exactly what she will do, is kill a shit ton of enemy mooks and get really big and spooky and <laughs> continue to do that for the rest of the game, hopefully. Yeah, we. Thus begins Lin's story in earnest. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> just like last time, I'm gonna go ahead and save over the top file. I'm getting pretty tired of re-recording this segment. Um, sorry if, if I sounded a little cross. I am a little cross, but by the time we get to the next chapter, it should all be good. I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.